Hey, what's up, everybody? Thunderfist1978 coming at you here on a Tuesday evening. I almost said tomorrow Monday because, you know, we're playing Rhapsody tonight. But, um, but no, no, I apologize, everybody, for last night. Um, I, uh, I was rather tired, but I didn't realize exactly how tired I was until, until I said something about an old man character, which it turned out was a cat. And... You know, at that point, I realized, man, I need to go to bed. So, uh, I'm a lot better rested tonight, and uh, we are ready to rock and roll in uh, Rhapsody 3, and who knows, this might be when we uh, when we finish off the story of uh, Pekonyan and Pokonyan. So, we now have... Uh, Hey, what's up, Tag? How you doing? Just drop it in. That's going really well. I'm uh, I'm a lot better rested tonight than I was last night. So, so uh, everything should go. Where the heck are we even? Oh, I know where I'm at now. Okay, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to pull up my notes. Once again, I almost forgot about those notes. Thank goodness for Notepad, eh? There we go. All right, so starry. So yeah, this is an area that um, that I ended up having to take a lot of notes in. But we've only got one more uh, minion that we need to um, to help us find the uh, the cake ingredients. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah. Before we go any further, I forgot we can recruit another. Um, Another party member now. Let's go ahead and do that before uh, before I forget about it. Jeez. I'm a level 15 Yano. I'll join you if you give me 3,000 Ocean. Cool. We have a full party now. Well, full party of cats. All right, let's see. Oh, right, okay. Let's see. So, bug porridge and mini general are already in other parties. Don't want to partner uh, bug life with the defender because um, what the heck? Is it going to benefit anyone? Wait. I was about ready to say. Okay, we're gonna le we're gonna leave um, bug life out. Now, defender, what can we equip you with? Definitely those. Um. 
cross trainers as well. And let's go ahead and save. Odds are much more in our favor now. Big question now is going to be um, what skills does the defender have? <laughs> All right, so we're in the starry eyed chamber right now. The next one we need to go to is the uh, uh, living love chamber. Which I believe is the, uh, the upper exit from here as we keep going west. but surely we're making back that money that we just spent. Yeah. Living love. And from there we go to um, fish. I'm trying to think how we get to that one. Oh, cool. We got more cross trainers. I was about to say, I thought there was one cat who hadn't attacked yet. I wondered what took it so long. That's a dead end, I think. Although... We could stand going up that way, because we'll have to go there eventually. Thing is, I would rather have all of... Um, um, Akurjo's minions with me first. Because I have, I have a feeling we're going to have to have all of them with us to get um, some of the ingredients. Carrying a fish in its mouth. Okay, good. From here, we need the tear room. Tear, dog, and sky. Treasure of Resolve rests there. We must choose only one. Guess we already did that. Why there's nothing there now. Oh, cool. I was saying cool about the bulletproof vest, not that not that we were getting attacked. Nice. If anybody else can equip the, any of the bulletproof vests. Or maybe something. Let's see. Might give this one a bulletproof vest just so they'll have um, they'll have some uh, good defense going. Should have done that before. Okay, there's no other reason for us to be here. Nope, don't need to be there. Cool. 
Well, you know, it is nice to see that, um... Don't underestimate me just because I'm a cat, meow. That they're not doing much damage at this point. Danger ahead. Not yet. I'm gonna go get that chest first. At least we know which way to not go. Plus ones, but to everything that goes up, but minus two to everything that goes down. I'm not liking that. Nope. What about you, Cat Club? You had good luck with the other one. Or ice tea. I'm surprised that did anything, given the fact that uh, this looks like a uh, water element creature. You'd think it would be laughing at the fact that anybody was trying a water attack on it. But... We live to fight on. Oh, you're good, Tag. I'm I'm happy you stopped in. Have a great night and uh, see you back really soon. Take good care. Cat bio. I'm just I'm trying to give it a partner. Nope. What about you? Don't think so. Huh. Well, that one's rather detrimental. I don't think we're going to partner that one up with anybody. will be the next one getting healed. No, not Bio. Yeah, Bio. Everybody concentrate on that chest. <laughs> K 
Cat drenched in tears. Perfect. This is where we want to be. And from here we go to... Sky. Uh, nope. Not ready to go back yet. A cactus sushi. I'm going to pass on that one. Hey, what's up, Diesel Girl? Good to see you tonight. How is everything? All right, let's go ahead and save. So, I started playing this last night, but I was, like, super out of it. Couldn't do a proper stream, so I went ahead and ended it two hours in. And then just decided we come back to this again tonight. I'm feeling a lot better now, though. So, um... Feeling a lot better than I was last night. So we should have a proper Rhapsody stream tonight. By the way, I've decided that, um... That next year in October, I'm gonna try my hand at a charity stream. I've uh, I've not done one before, so you know I'm hoping it goes well. And I know it's a long time away, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and announce it now while uh, while the idea is fresh. I I do actually have one. Yes, you see. Uh, It I picked October because October is anti-bullying month. And uh, and I wanted to do something for the Megan Meyer Foundation. That seems like the, uh, the best time to do it. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's who, that's who will be, uh, that's who we'll be raising money for. Her story just touched me so much when I heard it. And um, You know, I'm just I'm just hoping to be able to do something to um, to help out their efforts. And I'm probably going to run it the same way um, Sweetheart Allie ran her cancer benefit earlier in the year. The way she did it was um, was instead of a raid train, just anybody who wanted to uh, stream for it could just do it whenever. You know, when, when you when you have a raid train, um, like everybody signs up for a certain time slot, and uh, you try to commit to that time slot if at all possible. Uh, wait, dogs. Wasn't there one after that? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh so you know it's like it gets other people involved if they want to be and um and it makes it so that uh nobody has to commit to a certain time to stream. They can just they can just do it uh whenever they find time. Yeah. 
Like I said, I know it's a long way away, but um, I wanted to get it out there while uh, while the idea was fresh in my head. I will be making a uh, a separate Discord when the time draws closer, just so that um, it'll get it'll give it'll give all of us who are taking part in the charity. A way to communicate. And that was ridiculous. Wait. Don't need to fight those. Oh, hello. Amulet. Wait a minute. No, I need that. She needs to have that. You. Okay, never mind. You keep that. Right, yeah, exactly. So, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully we get a nice collaboration going and, um, and, um, we can, we can help out a cause. It's always been a lot to me because, you know, when I went to, um, when I was in school, I got bullied a lot. I mean, not, not to the extent that, um, that a lot of the, a lot of the people you read about. Uh, got bullied, but you know, it did happen. So, you know, it means a lot to me to be in a position where I can do something to, to, um, to help others who are more in a position to directly impact it. I, I know I didn't word that very well, but story of my life. Yeah, uh, yeah, Megan Meyer's story is very heart wrenching. So, you know, I'm just I'm just happy that um that it led to an organization um that um that could help other people who might otherwise you know, have have their stories end in a similar way to hers, you know. Thanks to their efforts, it'll cut down on that a lot. And plus, it led to the passage of laws that should have been there in the first place. I mean, let's be real. You know, they they wanted to um they they wanted to persecute the uh not persecute but prosecute um uh, the main adult who, who created the um, who created the account that was used to essentially um, bully Megan to the point that she took the action she took but the laws at the time really didn't leave much room to do that you know as as a result of her situation that's changed you know, it's just a shame something like that. Yeah. Don't underestimate me just because I'm a cat meow. Yeah, I was. Yeah, her parents. Um. Uh, uh, her parents founded a uh, an organization that um that provides workshops and um. Healing tank. Hold on a second. Somebody needs that. Hold 
Hopefully I don't end up regretting this, but we'll see. Well, like I said, it got lost past that should have been there to begin with. So, you know, at least there's that. doing that a long time ago if I remembered uh, if I remembered that attack was that potent <laughs> well good welcome welcome to the party let's see if, let's see if we can put you with anybody you can help out well now hop aboard We need to go back and heal. Like we seriously need to go back and heal. Let you let you start taking karate in middle school. That's that's great. You know, uh, I I count myself very fortunate that uh, the internet really hadn't hit its advent at that time. You know, the, the stuff that uh, the stuff that I went through, I was done with it at the end of the school day. Kids nowadays are really reluctant to, uh, to put their phone down, and unless they do that, it's a lot harder for them to, uh, to get away from it. So I'm I'm happy that's a, um, a temptation that I didn't have to face. Well, that's that's great to hear. I'm glad you found um, I'm glad you found an escape and something that would have um, that would have really helped you out if worse to come to worst. But yeah, when when I found out that uh, that there is actually an anti-bullying uh, month, I got I got to thinking, why didn't I do this last month? But you know, we we will definitely do it next year for sure. Is that all you got? See if we can take them out without uh, without using a lot of SP now. Yeah, we got this. Don't underestimate me just because I'm a cat, meow. Those skeletons looked intimidating, but at the end of the day, they're total boneheads. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, Roddy Piper had started an anti-bullying campaign. Oh man, I I didn't hear about that, but you know, it makes me happy to hear that that he was doing that because I actually met Roddy back in um, uh, back in 2013, and he just seemed like the um, the. Uh, 
just like the most welcoming person you could have ever uh, you could have ever spoken with. I mean, he was like the polar opposite of the character that that you saw on TV. You know, you know, on TV he was just like he was uh, all fired up, uh, all cylinders all the time. But uh, but you know, when that camera wasn't on him. My gosh, there there wasn't a um, there wasn't a more caring man I could have wanted to talk to. And I'm really happy I had that. I was able to take that chance while it was here. Uh, excuse you. I don't have a lot of choice here. Wasn't want to, wasn't wanting to dig much into, into the SP reserves, but didn't have a choice with that. Uh, can you like? He must have done that because uh, he was the last one. I'm gonna close that door right now. What? I didn't even see what attack landed. All right, nobody use SP here. Don't underestimate me just because I'm a cat, meow. Stargazers, wait, what? Um... Wait a minute. Stargazer, hold on. Okay, that is not starry eyes. Tears. Okay, so we did not need to go that way. We need to go in the dog room, which is the other direction. Everyone take out hyper bones. There. getting a lot of a notion now that I think about it. That's one good thing about all this fighting. Last time I tried to run from these things, it blew up in my face. Gotta see what that's capable of. 
first. So we cannot get over there directly from here. We gotta go around. Oh, snap! I gotta see what this can do. Wow! That was awesome! Don't underestimate me just because I'm a cat, meow. Now, the question is... How much... How much SP does that use? 15. And what?! The last time I tried to I tried to heal outside of a fight, I didn't have the skill. The look, skill. Skill! Where did it come from? I cannot believe that word just came. That non-existent word just came out of my mouth. Skill. Gosh. Ah. And we thought John's Freudian slip and plumbers don't wear ties was bad. <laughs> Oh boy. Skeel. All right. If I'm not mistaken, there was another room to the south, and that's actually where we're supposed to go. Let's save here. Dog. Good. And then Sky is the last one. would still be connected even if we ended up in different eras how can my heart reach you if i've fallen so far i'm no longer the same boy you knew i've sinned so much and i know i'm going to continue sinning in the future today is the last time i'll try to speak to you again goodbye sherry what is he talking about? What is he gonna do? Who are you now? I've never seen you kneel before. What's a human doing in a place like this, Meow? And he doesn't have any words. So what was the point of even coming here? That's what I want to know. Well, we know there's nothing else we can do here right now. Nope, sure don't. Sometimes I wish dogs and cats could get along better. I wonder why it is that they're so uh, predisposed to uh, disliking one another. 
I mean, there are exceptions to that rule. Dimensional cape. I know what that does. goes up too. Sweet. Looks like that's still the best defensive thing we've got. The bulletproof vest, I mean. So, Sky. That's the one we're looking for next. Whatever the full name of that, uh, the next room is, that is. Art of Energy. Does that do what I think it does? Exactly what I thought. don't even have to have that uh, heal team in order for Pekonyan to heal everybody else. Oops. That's the best part of it all. I wondered why I wasn't able to access my heal skill next time, last time. That didn't make any kind of sense because... I could have sworn I had it even before I equipped Heal Team. And even once I equipped it, I still wasn't able to pull it up uh, outside of battle. At least not that I saw. But the important thing is we can now. I have a feeling we're gonna kick butt and take names now. Which is exactly what we wanna do. Oh, we got somebody else who knows Super Meowgic. Okay, wait. I bet that's the room we're supposed to go through. But not yet. Not yet. I want to get that chest up there first. I don't know what's in it, but I know I want it. Uh, excuse you. How dare you dodge attacks. Don't underestimate me just because I'm a cat, meow. That's right. You take that advice to heart. Mermaid. Oh, wow. I 
I guess I guess that's what you get when you cross RoboCop with Splash, huh? All right. Now the question is: Is there anybody who would benefit from having her partner with them? Yes. That's awesome. So if I'm not mistaken, that's what I thought. We definitely don't need to go there. Hopefully we didn't end up going in there too soon. I don't think we did. Any, I'm gonna take a look at um, yeah, we got nothing but monsters in this party. That means there are no puppeteers and therefore no rewards to be earned. All right, now going back the way we were going. Thank goodness. There's a statue. Oh, wow. Man, that's awesome. We got something that can cast holy. been all my life I could have used you like uh, 20 screens ago well, more than that actually Everybody's here. And getting that super meowgic and getting the um, and getting an item that lowers the amount of SP we use when we cast spells that was the best thing that could have happened yeah, amazing, yeah. say that again yeah. oh wait you did because that's not the first time I've heard you say it Stop it. Nice. And Pekonyan just leveled up. Ooh, she's level 20. Oops. 
and the controller decided uh, it wanted to free fall. Cadu admires the sky. That's exact. This is exactly where we need to be. A Marjorie family Nyanko passed by here not too long ago. I wonder why Nyanko's here. This is interesting, how we're not encountering any enemies. Uh, no. Not yet. Oh, wait, now! Piconyan? A Poconyan? It can't be, now, I'm just seeing things, right? Oh, there's a chest. We'll get that other chest here in a moment. We'll get this out of the way first. All right. Everybody that can use Super Meowgic, use it. That 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 uh, that they're still standing, but I don't think they will be for much longer. Makes me wonder what are the later monsters we're gonna face here? What are they gonna be? Like? Gosh, okay, good. One of them's down. And there went the mermaid. Okay, wait. Holy crap! That is too much. as at least three of them survive they should be able to take it down good they all survive yep you're done son going back soon anyway, so it's not going to matter too much how low her uh, SP get. But at least everybody's back to full. Iron Curtain? What the heck does that do? Okay. Don't think I want to equip that, but still. Nice to know I've got that around. I think that's the kitty that'll take us back to town. Which, that's where we want to go now. Nice. 
nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Another super Meowjik. Uh, yes, now we want to go back. Now, after this, I think we just need to go through uh, the different traps. You're still missing a demon strawberry, the reaper's candles, hell's fresh cream, and a giant sponge cake. This is Fun Fun's room. Ew. Fun Fun, I found your space protein. Ew. What? That's definitely my space protein. I'm impressed you managed to find it. So, did you catch the culprit? Um, I almost did, but they got away from me. Ew. I can't see anything about Poco now, no matter what. Ew. I see. Well, I guess it's too late now. I'll help you gather ingredients since you went out of your way to help me. I don't like to pick on the weak, though, so that's going to be your job. Okay, he's got a noble reason for not helping with the fights. Okay, so now, let's look at the other places we need to go. Starry-eyed. And then moon howl. That one's going to be pretty simple. the cat who dreams that's actually i think that's starry eyed okay wait i bet i know what that is that's got to be the barrier which we're not ready to take down yet I did wonder about that, but it has now occurred to me. 100 meter dash tra trap lies beyond. Okay, this is moon. So from here, we'll find the dash trap. And one of them should be able to get through it. I believe that's how these work. Like, I, I think you had to have uh, the members of the Akurjo family with you to pass the different uh, traps. And now that we've got them all, the only thing that stands in our way is actually getting to them. Is that all you got? It was to the north when I encountered the, uh, the trap. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, this is it. 
I need llama. On. I can't get through this trap. I can't get through this trap. This path. It's full of traps. Meow. Please do something about it. Meow. Okay, piece of cake. Ready? Wow! Ew, you're the best, Lady Lamon. Think so. This isn't anything special, though. Running and love are no different. You just have to keep moving forward. You can love Lady Lamon. Well, duh, of course I can. Would you move forward for that person's sake? Meow. Yep. In that case, hypothetically, if your master was preventing you two from being together, what would you do? Meow. Is master referring to a Kurjo? It's just an example. Meow. Hmm. If it were me... Yes, Lady Lama? I'd kill my master, yep. For starters, I'd strangle her throat so hard, she definitely wouldn't be able to take another breath. After that, I'd dump her into a huge vat of oil, so she'll fry up all nice and crispy. But she's a toughie, so just to be sure she'll never, ever come back. That's plenty. Ew, I get the picture. Ew. Huh? I haven't even gotten to the good part. <laughs> yeah, that's just the way this. That's just the way this series goes. It definitely brings the humor. Lunar is the only other RPG I've ever played that uh, that brings the humor like this series does. I get the feeling Lady Lama would really do it. Yeah. I guess you really do need that much resolve. You have to pick between your master and your beloved. It's basically an ultimatum. Meow. Love is so cruel. Meow. Fragment of sorrow turned into a fragment of love. Oh, that's awesome. All right, how about we head back? I'm glad we found those cake ingredients. All right, so we need to go back to Starry-Eyed Room, and then we go to um, Love Living Room. Those that won't be difficult to get to. I'm I was kind of dreading it when I saw that blue chest. I was like, wait a minute. There's going to be a boss fight there in here in there. I was really surprised when there wasn't. I was about ready to say. I was thinking, why haven't we had a why haven't we had an enemy encounter in a while? Kind of surprised Lon Lon's even still with us. We really don't need her to be in the party anymore. Okay. And now we need Lost in Darkness. I wonder what the other conversations are going to be like with the other uh, with the other generals here. I 
I have a feeling they're going to be hysterical. Wanders in the darkness. Good. This is where we need to be. I had a feeling when we when I saw that sign that uh, we were right where we need to be. I saw the sign. It opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. For all you Ace of Base fans out there. Probably my favorite song of theirs, actually. Don't Turn Around is really good, too. And they also did a, did a good rendition of uh, uh, Cool Summer, which was originally done by Bananarama. Although nothing beats the original on that one. Okay, something tells me that's not where I need to go. Wait. Okay, we did open that chest. I kind of question whether that door up there is the door we need to go through, though. But maybe it is. Yep, I remember being here. The door won't open. Ew, maybe Nyan Nyan. Please do something. Ew. Well, she is the second most powerful witch after a Kurjo. It open. Ew. Ah, show some respect. Ew. I'll use my magic to beat that stupid meow into a pulp. Meow. Marjorie family or not. Maybe meow meow? Mm -hmm. What is it? Meow. Hypothetically, if a, if a Nyansi fell for one of Meow's Nyankos, what would you do? Meow. What did you just say? Meow. It's just a hypothetical. Meow. I would never forgive a Nyansi that did that. I'd follow the Nyansi code and obliterate them. Of course you would. Could the love between Pokonyan and me really be destined to fail? Someone please tell me. That's cool how those uh, fragments of sorrow are turning one by one. All right, so we need to go back to the room we were just in. Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, living love and the one with the uh, the room with uh, the cat with a fish in its mouth. That's where we need to be next. I was trying to think what the name of the next room is, but that's what it is. Called it. Now I think here we just need to uh, look for a sign by a door that says, uh, if you're looking for this trap, this is where you go. And there's a sign there. And 
Nice! Don't underestimate me just because I'm a cat, meow. Okay, I already know about that. Okay, that looks promising. So we need to get to that sign. Yeah, that's got to be why that sign is there. Or is it? Danger ahead. Nope. I don't think this is where we need to be. No. We need to go into uh, the room of the snow eater. Which has to be the other way. So that sign over there was a red herring. Well played, game. Well played indeed. Yep, this is where we need to be. I think it's a boulder or something. That's what Fon Fon's forte is going to be. They can even take on dinosaurs now. Don't underestimate me just because I'm a cat, meow. Okay, good a notion. The unyielding boulder lies beyond. All right, Fawn Fawn, do your thing. I can't go any further. This wall is in the way. Meow. Please do something. Yeah! Aren't my darling muscles always so beautiful? Fun fun. Did you say you're in love with your muscles? Meow. I certainly am. Wouldn't you be? But, what if one day your beloved muscles ended up disappearing? Ew. What? It's just a hypothetical question. Ew. Hmm. I suppose if I lost my beautiful body, I wouldn't be able to keep going. Right? Ew. It's super painful to lose something you love. Pokonyan. At least I think that's what she said. I fast-forwarded too quickly. I don't want to lose you. Ew. So no more fragments of sorrow. They're all fragments of love now. And now we just need the sponge cake. We've got all the other ingredients. So the only one who really seems to be on uh, Poco Nyan's side here is uh, Lon Lon. Or she seems to be the most go-getter out of them.
All right, now we need to go. You know what, now that I think about it, we probably could have just gone right back to town and gotten to where I think we're supposed to go faster. But what the hey. We'll take the scenic route. To think, all that was beyond those uh, those super dangerous traps were cake ingredients. That's just how this game rolls. <laughs> Make you wonder what could be beyond those dangerous traps. Just cake ingredients. For a cake that will celebrate an evil witch's birthday. Well. And nope. What about you? No. Okay, that's a little more promising, but still no. Definitely not. This time. Definitely not. Definitely not. And that one's just bad luck all around, pretty much. But. It also gives us uh, another creature we can call forth in another story. So it's not all a wasted effort. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we got it right away. <laughs> That's great. All right, let's see here. And it's called Nugget. That's even better. Not so great. Or the negative impact it's having on everyone's stats. Wow, it's only got 49 hit points. As big as that, as big as that thing is, I would think it would have more, uh, more hit points than that. All right, let's save here. The three fragments of love shown. Of course. Of course. It's heart shaped, and the heart was like in three pieces on the um, on the mirror or on the window, and we had three fragments of love. It all makes sense now. Right, let's save here. Is that the sponge cake? 
Pekonyan. Pokonyan? It really was you? What are you doing here? Ow. I risked my life to come all this way to see you. Ow. Don't fall for it. That antenna is such a red flag. Come on, Pokonyan. Run away. Or, come on, Pekonyan. Run away with, with me. Ow. To a world without anyone else. Ow. What's wrong, Pekonyan? Who are you? Ew. Who am I? I'm Pokonyan, of course. Stop lying! Ew. The real Pokonyan! The real Pokonyan I I love wouldn't run around stealing things from others. Ew. And what's with that weird antenna on your head? Ew. Even I can tell that's suspicious. Ew. Oh crap! <laughs> and here I thought my disguise was perfect. Congratulations on seeing through it. Now that it's come to this, I'll just take the energy I need for my resurrection by force. Everybody, if you can use Super Meowgic, use it. Use Mega Is there a reason you're all attacking the same character? Shock Defender uh, is still standing out. I think it's got under a hundred or a thousand hit points now. be able to take it down. If it quits doing that, all right, you know what? 
Everybody go all out. It's hilarious that you challenge me, the terrible overlord, when you're just a mere cat. I'll incinerate you with the flames of my wrath. This can't be happening. My flames are affecting me too. Even if I thought about it. Yeah. Hey, what's that over there? My, that's large. What could it be? This is definitely a huge sponge cake. It's baked to perfection. Huh? If that's the case, then... We've gathered the demon strawberry, the reaper's candles, and hell's fresh cream. If we combine them with this giant sponge cake... Hey, what's up, Larry? How you doing? We just got all the ingredients for the cake. Yay, we did it! We can make a birthday cake! Meow. All right, we did it! The cake turned out normal. Despite the ingredient names. Pekonyan, we'll leave you to carry the cake in. Be careful not to drop it. Meow. Everyone else, start decorating the room. Meow. Of course. Meow. So what's she going to do? be here somewhere, Meow. I put poison in the cake. Everything will go as planned, Meow. Are you really fine, Meow? Are you really willing to sacrifice another for the sake of your love, Meow? Who's there, Meow? That must be her conscience. Could you kill someone for the sake of love, Meow? Could you betray people who are important in your life for the cat you love, Meow? Could the cat you love ever be happy if you did, Meow? What does love mean to you, Meow? Guess we'll find out if she went through with it. Happy birthday, Akurjo! Blow out the candles, Lady Akurjo. We decorated this together. We even made sure to get enough for your age. Gee, all I'm seeing is eight, but there's got to be more than that. Yeah. All 999 wouldn't quite fit on it. I knew there had to be more than eight. I knew she had to be more than eight years old. And I figured she was, uh, I thought she was around a thousand at least. Because we know, uh, Marjorie is over a thousand five hundred years old. Make a wish!
wish pew! Make a wish pew! A wish? Hmm, yes. I only have one wish. To obtain the shadow of beauty and live on forever, young and beautiful. And so, the curtain was raised on the battle between us and the Marjorie family, yeah. That other me, the one who appeared before me back then, that was surely my good conscience, yeah. Whether or not I ended up putting poison in the cake afterwards is a secret, yeah. So basically, it's going with the Friday the 13th NES kind of ending. Is Jason really dead? We're not telling. And Lady Akurjo is still alive anyway, yeah. We knew that. In the end, I wasn't able to change anything. But I am able to look at things a bit more positively than before, Meow. No love is impossible, Meow. With this in my heart, I think I can continue to try my best, Meow. That's the spirit. And that's another story finished. There's at least three more stories to go. I think that might be all there is. Because I know there are, uh, there are six hidden trophies. Or, yeah, six hidden trophies. And we've got two of them so far. Sorry, I'm grabbing a drink. And this is going to make a third one. So, you know, it's safe to... Meowly Meows? That almost sounds like a pseudonym. But who knows? I don't know if voice actors still do that, but I know back in the day, they would often use pseudonyms so that, um, so that other um, companies wouldn't know they were working for a competitor. Like when Cam Clark voiced um, voiced Liquid Snake in the original Metal Gear Solid, he went by James Flinders. And then later it was revealed that that was actually Cam Clark the whole time. Even David Hayter's name was, um, was different in the demo of Metal Gear Solid 1. They had the name Sean Thornton instead. Then again, David Hayter wasn't really known as a voice actor back then. He was more known as a, a screenplay writer. <laughs> At least we do know what happened to uh, Pekonyan and Pokonyan when all was said and done. Yep. Remember that from the second game. I wonder who the next story is going to settle. Um, we continued in Rhapsody 2, Ballad of the Little Princess. Which we already finished that one. I'm thinking about maybe playing this series during um, I'm thinking about maybe playing this series during um, the charity. I mean, it's pretty lighthearted by and large, which is uh, which is certainly 
what you'd want for something like that. So we did that one. We did that one. Okay, that's the one we haven't done yet. So there's another one about the Nyankos. Long ago in Marl Kingdom, there lived a group of feeble witches called the Marjorie family. Oh! So it's the other side now. We were on the Akurjo family before, now we're on the Marjorie family. The boss of the group and self-proclaimed most beautiful woman, Marjorie. Who's over a thousand five hundred years old, we might add. And certainly doesn't look it. The wielder of willpower magic, which solves anything with guts alone, Gal. The narcissistic swordswoman who flies the skies with her beautiful wings, Clodia. I wonder if we're actually gonna play as um as uh, Marjorie and her generals this time. And lastly, the mage and master of the cats known as the Nyankos, Meow. A group of notorious witches that even gods and demons would avoid. This is a tale about an incident that took place in these ladies' daily lives. Day the Nyankos disappear. Wicked beauty, plotting in the deepest dark, a forbidden life bewitched by evil. Cruel and beautiful, enchanting yet evil. The Marjorie family has been feared and revered since ancient times. However, as individuals, they had their own fatal flaw. Every single one of them was a complete moron. <laughs> Is it song time? Great musical number. Well, what is it, Marjorie? And I gotta say, whoever that narrator was that that opened the um that opened the story up, he did such a good job. That was um that was awesome. Did you pull a muscle or something? <laughs> I guess she figured out something about the Nyankos being gone. I feel like that could have gone better. 
Oh, she's being like the, um, she's being like the, um, the elves leader in, um, uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, how they were singing to Santa, and after he left, he went, that sounded terrible! And then they pointed out that one of them was missing. Where's the pizzazz? Now that I think about it, I haven't seen any of the Nyankos today. The Nyankos? I guess you're right. They're probably off chasing mice around somewhere. Well, they're certainly not doing the stray cat strut in that case. I don't bother chasing mice around. I slink down the alley looking for a fight. Howling to the moonlight on a hot summer night. Singing the blues while the lady cats cry. Wow, stray cat, you're a real gone guy. I wish I could be as carefree and wild. But I got cat class and I got cat style. For all you Stray Cat fans out there, I love that song. One of these days, I want to sing that karaoke while dressed up in a Top Cat costume. That would be epic. And I figure I'll have a couple of props, like like I'll I'll have like a small trash can, um, and get somebody to to chuck a shoe at me from the crowd where I can catch it in the trash can. Uh, for the for the line, get a shoe thrown at me by the mean old man, or by a mean old man, get my dinner from a garbage can, and then after I and then after I uh, after I recite the "Don't cross my path," I'll pick like a little, take a little fish bone out of it and start picking my teeth with it. That's the kind of acts I come up with, which it's, it's a lot of fun, but I gotta get that costume first. Just leave them be. They'll come home eventually. You hope. More importantly, why didn't we nail that today? Everybody, one more time from the top. However, by the next day, the Nyankos still hadn't returned. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Someone make me some food. Two days later, my room appears messier than usual. I suppose it's time for a cleaning. After all, my living quarters must be as beautiful as I am. Someone? Clean this room! Three days later... Hmm, these clothes are kinda smelly. I've been wearing the same ones for three days. Oh boy. With the Nyanko still nowhere in sight, the Marjorie family was facing the greatest threat it had ever faced. <laughs> Even more so than Cornette and her uh, and her puppets. This is the greatest threat the Marjorie family has ever faced. Well, I guess Marjorie would know. So listen carefully to what I'm about to say. Gao, you're in charge of cooking. Crodia, clean the rooms. Meow, do everyone's laundry. Got any problems with that? Putting me in charge of cooking. Isn't magically going to teach me how to cook. That's right. I'm so gorgeous, beautiful, and noble. What makes you think I know how to clean anything? <laughs> oh Lord. This this is this is a tra um this is quite the crisis. They haven't learned essential life skills. I suppose you're right. We'll have to do something about it. Let's
Let's find the Nyankos. We'll hunt down every last one of them, and then we'll make them do everything for us. Yeah, I'm getting pumped up. <laughs> Looks like this just got interesting. I'm kind of feeling like maybe we uh, we played as uh, the Marjorie family in, in uh, the second game. Huh? Good gosh, look at their level. Good gosh. Shadow of Beauty sits here. Kildia, what's wrong, Marjorie? It's nothing. Beautiful, no matter how you look at it. Well, I should think so. Statues don't give wrinkles after all. Yeah, Marjorie. Yeah, Marjorie. A statue's butt can't sag like yours does every year. Yeah. Shut your mouths! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hysterical. So hungry. Or not to eat these mushrooms? That's the question. Ew. Marjorie can float. These are the Nyanko's paw prints. Those little. Are they planning to steal my precious food? What do you mean, gal? This is the interdimensional freezer. It's awesome. It can keep food fresh and frozen. I keep a ton of my precious meat stashed in it. I thought it was weird that I couldn't find the key, but I never suspected them. Hmm. Does that mean the Nyankos are after the meat in there? I don't even know if they're gonna be okay. The inside of the freezer is really huge. If they got lost, what happens? Yeah. They'd probably freeze to death. If that's true, then by now, the Yonkos must be... <laughs> Weathered. Oh, my gosh. Greatest voice actor spanning at least 15 generations. King Thunder announces his arrival with vocal prowess. The Annunciation, the craftfully applied vocal fry. The King will have a number two super size to go. No question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your greetings never get old, sir. Yeah, how are you tonight? So good to see you. There we go. How you doing tonight? So we just finished another chapter in uh, in Rhapsody Three. And it looks like we have to finish this one before we can play any of the others. You know, I'm getting some real, um, I think I've said this before, but I'm getting some real Live Alive vibes out of this game. The only difference is with Live Alive, the characters are all from different times and they never meet each other. They never interact with each other. And for all intents and purposes, it doesn't seem like their stories are connected at all. In this game, that's not the case. All these characters are from the same kingdom, and uh, they uh, their stories do overarch with one another. If that's true, then by now, the Nyankos must be... Ugh, this is what happens when you're always thinking about food. Oh, that's rich coming from you. Marjorie, what do we do? Yeah. It seems we'll need to be quick. It's locked. No. Nope. Gotta find the key. <laughs> Don't need that. 
Okay, so we gotta find the key to that bridge somewhere. I guess, I guess one of the other, um, I guess one of the other Nyankos must have it. This isn't gonna be the walk in the park walk in the park I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was gonna be such a snap. Because I mean look how look how high their levels are. that are the newest notion lights are laid out. Decorating Christmas trees. A guide simple enough for cats to follow. A Christmas tree? Meow. Now that I think about it, Christmas is tomorrow, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. Christmas, the holiest of nights. A dazzling time for lovers. But sweet, yummy cake! Ew. And nice, protein-filled geese! I can't help but feel stupid for bothering to keep you three around. Hmm? What's this? About time we got that. I want to make sure there's nothing else to get before we go forward. Yellowtail liquor, skipjack liquor, and sunfish liquor. Guess there's nothing else to do. I thought this was gonna be. Oh wow. Ugh, it's so cold. I, I, I feel like I'm gonna freeze. Yeah. We need to keep warm by moving around. It's dangerous to stand still, Marjorie. Yes, you're right. Gal, aren't you cold? Nope. Why not? Yeah, ew. Isn't it obvious? My willpower keeps me warm. The cold's got nothing on my burning heart. That's not... Forget it. We don't have time to unpack. Let's find the Nyankos. I wonder how many of them there even are. Hey, what's up, Cloud? Welcome on in. We finished that chapter we were working on earlier tonight. And guess what? Now we're playing as the Marjorie family. Ain't that rich. Oh, there's there's some uh, some Nyankos. 
We're the March League family's Nyankos. Meow. Our masters won't stand by and let it happen if you start picking on us. Meow. That's why you definitely can't eat us. Meow. Mofu. Mofu. Meow. You get it? Mofu. As long as you get it, it's fine. Meow. We might not be able to understand what the other's saying, but our hearts are connected for sure. Meow. Meow, they didn't get it at all? Oh, I missed! Meow. Tell this fool. Oaf. <coughs> Shut up! Meow. My aim was just a little off. Just wait until I get serious. Knock it off. I'm sick of the pointless snarking. Let's take care of those already. Okay, so a Mega Meteor is definitely the way to go. Def we definitely want to go Omega Flame. Wait. Yeah, it's all enemies. Right about there, she is. Useless, useless! It's not good that we lost Meow. We needed her for healing. so scared. Meow. Why'd you post disappear without saying anything to me, huh? <coughs> well, you see, meow. They want a Christmas, don't they? It doesn't matter right now. What's important is finding the remaining Yonkos. You'll explain yourselves later. Got that? Yes, meow. Follow me. Got it, meow. We'll follow Master Meow anywhere, meow. All right, let's see. Oops. Partner up with Marge. Which which one, Marjorie? I could definitely, uh, yeah, Marjorie does look a lot like Zenobia. You're right. 
I didn't think about that, but you do have a point. All right, I say we get out of here and go heal up back up back um at least I hope we'll be able to do that. I would think we would. Nope. It's too late for regrets. I'll captivate you. That seems crazy to me to see them to see them doing so much damage. And yet not be able to just um, knock out enemies like it's nothing. I sure hope we can get out of here and go back. Good. About time one of them got KO'd. Mega heal. Oh. Well, I guess I guess we'll do Giga heal on Crodia. melt it oh dear lord that thing does not look friendly
definitely need to Omega heal everyone. Thank goodness. Good now. that to Gal. Too bad we can't have a map to look at. Okay, I don't want to I don't want to fight th whatever's in there yet. Oh no. I kind of feel like I should have uh, leveled up outside, but then it, but then again, the leveling would have come so slowly. So I'm not sure if that would have really done much of anything. find a statue. Oh. Or that. Oh, thank goodness. I guess that's to keep you warm. Even though alcohol actually lowers body temperature. Thank goodness. We are full now. I 
guess Giga Fire's the best attack she's got. Well, for one enemy. Oh no! They took down Meow. I did not need that. But at least Gal wasn't, or um, uh, uh, Meow wasn't really gonna be attacking much. So from an attacking standpoint, we really didn't lose anything. Nice. My beauty should be illegal. <laughs> you say so, fiery soul. Wow. Did you guys see what Marjorie had equipped? Wow. Yanko Diary is on the ground. I'm really tired, so I'll just... Yeah. The middle parts of the message are missing, making it unreadable. Something about this message seems telling, doesn't it? <laughs> what, like the writer's dead? That can't be. I, I don't know anything about it. Ha <laughs> ha it's not my fault either. Yeah. Are you guys okay? I was just joking. <laughs> yeah, Marjorie's armor is a bondage suit. That's what I was laughing about and saying, wow. Is that the sort of thing you were expecting? Oh, you've seen worse. Well, you know Disgaea better than I do, so I'll take your word for it. All right, Omega Heal All. Oh, I look forward to it, actually. I'll captivate you. I would love to play everything that um, that uh, Nipponichi Software's done. So the experience is more for the benefit of the Nyankos than for uh, Marjorie and her posse. Well, hey, I have a feeling the uh, the uh, a physical copy of it would be far more expensive. At least I'd expect it to be. Saw a branching path off to the east. Doesn't seem to be one to the west, though. Okay, we've already read that. Alright, we'll leave the light on for you till you get back, Cloud. In the meantime, I think we're gonna take the path to the east. We went to the north, we rescued some uh Yonkos already. One who bests the mom fluffs is qualified to cross the land of illusions. Oh, 
So we can't go that way yet. There's another enemy we have to take down. I wonder. Okay. Wait. Okay, I was just curious to see what their max hit points were. Almost looks like Marjorie's got devil horns behind her neck when she's floating like that. Oh. Well. So we don't have to go back outside. Now we can go ahead and fight to our heart's content. I knew there was going to be something in one of these. One of them actually survived that. That's awesome. Out my name. Too bad not all of them could. I shall give you a splendid death. Sweet. Book it. And I'm not talking the reading program. Why would you do that? Great. 
what's wrong? Don't I always tell you not to run away, no matter how strong the opponent is? Running means you lose. No matter how tough and painful it is, just grit your teeth and tough it out. Not for someone else, but for yourself. That's what having guts means. I'll show you. Let's go, willpower! I'm stuck. Really? I don't know anyone dumber. Help her out, you two. <laughs> My bad for getting so fired up. All right, one more time. Let's go, willpower! It's not as bad as it could have been. I think we can afford to have um, Meow use Omega Flame this time. It's crazy that they're both still standing. That's how you know Gal's tough. When she takes a hit like that and is still standing. All right, let's see. I think we should heal everybody. I'm way out of your league. Good, one of them's gone. And that one's gone too. What were you thinking, running off and hiding in somewhere like this? Yeah, meow. You idiots just disappeared all of a sudden. I, I. You what? Meow. Nothing. Meow. You morons. I'll punish you for this later. Nyanko Diary is on the ground. Master Gal made us train so we won't die, even if we fell from a hundred meters up. Meow. Tomorrow's training is supposed to keep us from drowning up to 24 hours. Meow. One of these is going to kill us for real one day. Meow. Perseverance, courage, and willpower. Man, that's the best. You, you really need to stop thinking everyone can do what you can. Welcome back, Cloud. We just got through another, um... Oh, nice. We just got through another boss fight. Let's see. Give her Saint Meow. Meow. Give you 
that one. What about you, Marjorie? Oh, there's only one left. Alright, I say we go back and uh, heal up. And then we'll save... Alright, if that's the way you want it, that's the way it's gonna be. one of them leveled up. That's nuts. We might as well even, uh, I mean, we're right by something that'll, uh, Here's the final blow. restore all our magic points. Might as well go all out. I'll captivate you. Look at that long trail of Nyankos behind him. All right, I'm going to go to the west this time. And just make sure there's no path over to the west. It appears there is. No, don't do that. Looks like we'll need to go west next. Hopefully that creature to the west will be the one to uh, that will help us get over the uh, illusion barrier. It's 
so I'm assuming it's a boss fight we have to complete that'll let us get over there. Oh my gosh, why? There is no need to be so evil. Get that ice block first. Good. Of course. That could have been worse. You gotta give him credit for trying. I really miss having the ability to uh, see how many hit points these creatures have. It's too late for regrets. Elixir. Okay, so the Nyankos are. Most of them are up around level 50 at least. Nyanko Diary is on the ground. Master Marjorie set my tail on fire because she got mad about getting dumped. Yeah. I wish you'd be nicer to us. Yeah. Oh man, that's mean. It's definitely Marjorie's fault that Yonko's left. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I I didn't know such thing. It's not my fault. <laughs> oh Lord, the cup. Farts make make a comeback. I 
forget what the powered up version of those is called. I wondered when one of them was gonna was gonna join the party. Oh wow. Now that's nice. I was a little worried that I was about to say I was a little worried that, that there would be an enemy under that. surprised that alien bugs survived that. I'll captivate you. Oh, goddess. Forgive me for my sins. It's honestly ticking me off. The fact that that happens so much. Save here. Good. Oh my gosh, that was such a welcome sight. I thought there was going to be a boss fight up here. Only one place I can think of where, where we need to go from here. I'm not going to be able to stream. I mentioned this before, but just in case, um, just in case anybody didn't hear that, 
I'm not going to be able to... Uh... What is wrong with this game? I wonder what caused it to start, to start that all of a sudden. Anyway, I was as I was about to say before I was so rudely interrupted. How rude! I'm not gonna be uh, able to stream on um, on Thursday, so tomorrow we're gonna have two Battle Toad streams. One uh, one in the morning, like like we've been doing, and then uh, my next stream that evening is gonna be Battle Toads as well. That way we get uh, plenty of battle toads practicing. Alright, let's heal again. Catch which one got uh, KO'd earlier, so I'll just get them all. Wow, she healed over a over a thousand hit points to one of those cats. All right, folks, I am going to take a uh, a short.